Hello everybody and welcome back. I've already made this video in German, um, but for all my non-native German speaking viewers, uh, I'm making an English version of this. The reason is pretty simple. Uh, there is something <laughs> very German about this whole project and it is very hard to convey uh, to <laughs> people from other places just because we do things in Germany a little bit different sometimes. But let's get to it. So, at the start of the year I installed a self-PV system. Um, that is basically a uh, small solar system uh, on, on one of my on a shed in my garden and um, I put it up, I installed it, I got everything running and in fact I have a whole playlist about the whole process, what I bought, how much I spent and um, this video is about how much I'm earning right now because starting in April I started to put this thing in production and I've been watching it perform ever since. And I've installed some meters, I had to change some of the metering in my house because it's mandated by law and uh, once I got all of that stuff running I was able to get pretty good readings about what was happening. So for example on the end of the first day uh, which was on April 2nd uh, this year um, I had 746 watt hours solar power. Well it was April and I chose to monitor 60 days in April and May just because they're the most average of the year. Uh, in Germany in April uh, you can have blue skies, wonderful weather, uh, lots of sun, uh, but you can also have snow um, and uh, it can get really cold and, 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 and ucky and it was just I chose those 60 days uh, just because they were really convenient and I knew um, the weather was going to be pretty bad because it was when I started out. So at the end of the first day I had 746 watt hours which is extremely bad. Um, now at the end of May and in, in, in the beginning of June I'm going for 4.6 kilowatt hours. That is like almost four kilowatt hours more than what I have here. And those are the values that I started out with. And at the end of this uh, cycle I ended up here. So uh, when I took this picture um, I had an output of 483 watts from the solar array. The solar array has a maximum output power of 560 uh, which is regulated by the inverter that I have and uh, I'll talk about that in a moment or so but I am getting really close to what this thing promised um, to, to deliver and the, the sensors that I built are very very accurate. In fact uh, they are so accurate that some of the losses are already uh, taken away when when uh, when summing up all of this data. But let's, let's let's keep with this. So on that day when I took this picture I was getting 483 watts. It was I think about noon and I had already gotten 1.3 kilowatt hours and um, from the wall plug or, or the, the supplier I was um, I was uh, buying 239 watts. So when I built this thing I made sure that over the day um, I would be able to consume all of the power that solar would give me. Uh, that is one of the things that make it really weird for Germany. Um, we, can, we can connect this to the grid but whatever we feed back into the grid we don't get a penny for that and there are very strict regulatory limits for that. So we're not allowed to feed back more than 600 watts. Um, also even if we were we have to stay within a few limits. Uh, we have to have a power meter that does not run backwards which makes sense. Um, 
Interestingly enough, the new power meter that I get that I got um, actually records the kilowatt hours that I'm feeding back. So over the 60 days, I fed back 3.3 kilowatt hours, which is close to nothing considering that I achieved 170 kilowatt hours of solar power that I was able to consume myself. And that is a uh, really, really good value. Interestingly enough, 170 kilowatt hours is pretty much exactly 50 euros for what I pay for it, uh, which makes this thing really interesting um, and which makes, well, calculating this stuff really interesting too. So if we go back to the uh, system that I installed, uh, these are two um, solar modules. Uh, they're from Tailsun. They are the, the uh, Bystar. Um, each of them has 370 watts. Um, they're connected to a two-channel microinverter uh, with two MPPT channels and with a compound feed into the uh, network of 560 watts. Um, that has to be 560 watts because I'm not allowed to feed back more than 600. And this whole system, with all the costs that I had, like changing the meter and, and stuff like that, cost approximately 1,000 euros. So that's what I paid for it. And currently, at the rate that it's running in April and May, I'm achieving a net saving from what I would usually buy um, of 25 euros per month. And uh, if I accumulate this, then uh, I'm going to get 300 euros per year. And uh, if I, if I uh, sum this up over the 25 years that this thing is supposed to be able to run, and that is another reason because for, because the reason for that is um, the 370 watts from the solar panels will diminish over time, but the 560 is so much below that, that even at the end of the 25 years, I will still get that peak performance. And at the end of uh, those 25 years, if everything stays the way it is, I will have a net saving of 7,500 euros potential saving. Uh, and I'm saying potential saving because uh, all the stuff that I have um, keeps using less and less energy. Every generation of computer that I buy is more energy efficient. Uh, it, every household thing that we buy becomes more energy efficient. But maybe I'm going to get um, an electric car and I can use the power that I generate here to charge that. So that would make it more interesting. Also, the prices for electricity might go up. So that would that would increase my saving. But just to make this completely clear, at the end, if I subtract the thousand euros that I put into this from those 7,500, I can project to have a saving of 6,000 500 euros if nothing changes from what from what I have now if it's something breaks then well it's gonna be subtracted from that but I do have a pretty good warranty on all the stuff that I have and uh, I think I will be living here for the next 25 years so that makes it really interesting 6,500 euros that's that's a lot of stuff but you have to keep in mind, those are 6,500 euros savings. I still have to buy all my electricity uh, from, from my provider. If, I, if it gets less expensive, this value is going to go down. If it gets more expensive, the value is going to go up. Um, just to make this 100% clear, if I stop using 
um, electricity at home because I'm not there because I'm traveling or something. Um, all that I produce is supplied into the grid and I don't get a penny for it. And that is one of those other German things uh, that you just have to get used to. And that's the reason why I made a German video about this because it turned into a rant. So if I look at what I have now, it makes a lot of sense. If, um, if I had been living in a two person household and those two persons had been working all day, uh, not working from home, then this wouldn't have made any sense. Uh, as you can see, there's still the same area, uh, free space between where my um, solar array is now. Uh, maybe in the future I can invest in another set of these and have them charge a battery or have them provide uh, hot water or something like that and save even more. I'll have to look into that. Um, but the way things are in Germany with regulations and laws and everything, I would not be allowed to connect the second grid, this, the, second, um, the second system up to the grid. Uh, that is, uh, that's not allowed. But this is, this is basically the, uh, the sum up of all the things that I have uh, up to now. I have been able to run this thing for 60 days. In those 60 days, I have been able to achieve 50 um, euros as power. Um, if I divide this uh, by the months that I've been using it, I can uh, predict that my savings will be um, up to 6,500 euros. And I can also predict that I will probably be spending about 40 months until this whole thing has been paid off. Uh, that's another thing that I find pretty interesting. Um, getting this thing to pay off within 40 months uh, seems okay to me um, because after that I will still have more than 22 years of using it to make a profit for me. Um, this is really, really good. Um, looking at the the values that I was getting and uh, the the uh, the sums of uh, power that I was able to produce, um, it looks very promising. I have been able to uh, uh, confirm that these 560 watts that the system is promised to have peak. Yep, I'm seeing them. Um, I've seen that I have. Uh, pretty much um, good coverage over the day. I don't have any shade over my solar panels. Um, no issues like that. The um, inverter are, they're working really, really well. Um, I've also confirmed that I have almost nothing uh, that I'm sending back into the grid, which would uh, be subtracted from, uh, from my savings or my earnings. And uh, looking forward, um, it's been a few days now and we have had a few days of great sun. And um, right now the values are just getting a lot better. Uh, but we're going to have winter and there's going to be bad times. And uh, that will probably uh, be a hit on the system. So I don't think I'm going to have uh, too many days like that in winter. But looking from where I stand now, the the performance of uh, this solar system. And you have to remember, this was the cheapest one in Germany. Um, it was a great price. Uh, everything was included. I didn't have any problems. It was good quality, uh, but still with, together with everything, it was still a thousand euros. Um, I think you could go cheaper, um, but personally, I wouldn't be willing to take the risk to go even cheaper than that and just buying the components from wherever you get them and maybe then having problems with the warranty and stuff. So right now, this thing is uh, absolutely perfect for me. And well, yeah, that's it. For
Um, that's basically all I wanted to say. I wanted to give a prediction um, about what I can expect to save or earn with this system. I wanted to talk about how long it's going to be running before uh, it's paid for itself, which is going to be 40 months. And uh, that is, oh yeah, I can live with that. And uh, after that, it is just going to work um, towards saving me a lot of money. And you have to you have to um, just take into account that energy is getting more expensive by the month right now. And um, these small systems um, are actually the right thing to take the load of our grid. Uh, but Germany is different from a lot of other places in the world uh, because it's, we don't have uh, air conditioning not at all uh, not even not even businesses or or industry there's almost no um, AC installation base in Germany and those are the the big energy draws um, electric cars are basically taking hold now and they're going to put a lot of load on the grid uh, but these small systems they're able to take um, a significant amount of load from the grid and I hope that over the time um, the the allowance um, of backfeed that we can have with this system will be increased and if that happens I'm going to um, increase the size of my solar of my solar array uh, because just it makes so much sense okay um, basically that was what I wanted to say and um, yeah, it's uh, it's really good for me, and um, I'm really happy with what I did. Uh, some of the regulations around it are, yeah, as you can, as as I said many times before, very much German. Uh, but um, the output from a system like this will be the same all over the world. So uh, if everything is um, somewhat similar to what I'm showing here and uh, you have uh, you have good sun on your on your collectors and um, you have uh, a similar uh, setup in in regards to size and power then you can expect to have a similar income um, of course you need to make sure that it makes sense for you uh, and I can't stress that enough so yeah that was it um, short video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, bye bye.